Second, let me have a word with you. I just can't have you here anymore. Let's go. It's all good. Calm down. Interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Uh, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance. 
but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. That's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. How you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that, especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. Must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Take a quick look at the place. <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house.
My good young man. Fare thee well, fare thee well. <laughs> is your father home, son? Sure is. Get him down here. Please, get him down here. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just starting to see you here in this. You sell some partner? Free. Why not? I'm like that. Our brain's in here, but our souls is in our backs. You, sir, your, your back looks kind of tricky. Come to the Boy, uh, just 10 or 15 sessions. Whiskey suits me fine, sir. Whiskey, it's whiskey is this cousin of the problem. You ever meet a Scot who didn't hobble in old age? But the English stand cold, sir. Gin! the juniper do? Creates movement in the spine. Whereas your whiskey, made with grain as it is, it leaves the spine brittle. Hit your house and shock. Done, Arthur? Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Come on! Pick up the pace! You should have been more careful. Yeah, sorry. Must have left the dresser room. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. Yeah. Hey, slow it down. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. Mm. Yeah, exactly. So how long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. It feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. 
Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Yeah. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Hello, Tilly. Morning, Arthur. You missing your tree yet? I feel like chopping it down. We'll all be watching you. Hey, I think my back needs some working over. Well, lie down and I'll get cracking. Uh, I don't think so. Arthur. What's it look like I'm doing? It looks like you're reading. And I am. So why do you ask? Just making conversation. I'm sorry. I was being catty. I don't know why. You're very purdy. I'm sorry. I'm not being forward or nothing. But you are. You're very sweet. Strange and horrible and you know, Driscoll, but sweet. I live to see you another this. day. Okay, whatever you say. Hey, so that feller who was hassling you in Valentine. I'll tell you another time, okay? Okay, sure. There she is. Morning. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you saved my life, and I'm... Well, I'm very grateful. Don't mention it, Reverend. I, I made a fool of myself. We've all done it. I just, I just, I get so confused and, and angry, and then I, I hear God laughing at me, and I get even angrier, and, well, I'm a real prized dolt. I know it.
okay, Miss Gaskell? Still reading? I've taken a break. But yes, I plan to keep reading. Is it, uh, fun? It's amazing. It's the reason we're living. It's the only thing that makes me happy. So, the only thing that makes you happy is being in your head somewhere else? <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> I suppose I never thought of it quite like that. You never read? No, I never fancied it. But you can. Well, I could. If I chose to. I've chosen not chosen to. Well, maybe one of us will teach you. Yeah.
Idiot. Come here. There we go. you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved me. Sure. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Uh, sure. Uh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. Oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Oh. Yep. normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. 
That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for... Oh, God! I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... Odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. This sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You just bored you want to make You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. We're close now. Just a little further. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. How are you? You be well. Ma'am, will you be all right from here? I'll find my way. Thank you, sir. Easy, boy. You're okay. Hello there. Is that horse doing all right? If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. What's with you then? No way! I'll plug you one, I swear. Come on! Out of the way! You want a dust up? You got it. Save it for another time. Local hard man, huh? Damn you to hell! I guess that's all you got. Real frightening.
don't want to see any more trouble from you. You hear? Sorry, there must be some mistake. Just passing through, don't want no problem. Do come in. So, what are you aiming for today? Hey, beautiful condition. Keep it up. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. You thought about upgrading the stock? I got some nice ones. Old Crawford at Carmody Dell had a wagon stolen from his... Hey, Partner. look out. Adding. 